coronavirus. The coronavirus, man. Um, wow. Something that started so small <laughs> has now risen to a global situation. You know, um, deaths, thousands of deaths in China, deaths in South Korea, deaths in Italy, and so forth. Um, boom, we have ourselves a virus, you know. I don't know how many of you watched the, um, oh gosh, I've forgotten what his, his, his name is. Um, he's the director of Traffic. And I'm, I'm sure I'm sure Captain Levi's page will, will know who this is. He's the captain of, he's the director of Traffic. Um, Steven Soderbergh, yeah. Steven Soderbergh, he um, directs a film called Contagion, which is about something similar. And they actually go one of the experts of that film to talk about this this the disease. And my thing is, you know, um first off, and I think you know, people have I have been saying this, but I think just to re reiterate this, wearing a mask or seeing people with masks aren't people that are wearing those things to prevent themselves getting it. Those because again, I think it's something that is very big in Asian culture, you know, that's whenever you have a flow, you have a a cold, you wear like these masks that you can see in this pic picture, so you don't give it to other people. You know, something that I think you know other countries should actually take upon. Um, so when you see people wearing masks, that's that's the people who may have a cold or a sneeze, and they don't know whether it's the virus or even just just a cold. So they don't want to give that to others. So if they sneeze and everything, it's just kept within this um, face mask and stuff. And um, but my thing here is this: is that where did this come from? Because if we go back to the origin of this whole virus, this started in Wuhan. And we should have known about this virus a lot earlier than we do right now. Because whistleblowers and doctors who found out about this, they were suppressed. And this is just where it just gets crazy. Because, you know, with anything like this, the earlier you know about it, that you know that there's an issue the quicker you can quieten it down. I'm like, okay, let's just hold this down. But So people knew about this weeks before the world knew about it. But once people knew about it, from what I was reading were the Chinese government, was, well, specifically those in Wuhan, were trying to suppress it because they didn't want things to, to, to go out there and, and see that they were, they, were, they were getting out of hand. But eventually the whistleblowers were able to get the word out that, look, there is this virus disease that is going around killing pe pe people. And... It's one of those crazy things that it's it is a very scary spinball effect of like boom 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 like this person get this person get this person get gets it, but from what we've seen, is the people that seem to be affected the worst from this are elderly people with pre-existing health conditions, so those people with pneumonia, breathing conditions, and people with not a good healthy lifestyle are those people that are not only susceptible to it that are most likely to perhaps be fatal from the disease but they've said that there are some young people who have died from it but it is has been mainly older people that have that have succumbed to this kind of disease so the thing about this is how bad could this thing get is how bad could could this thing get man you know um and no, but, but, but again, look, man, see, I'm not here to beat up on like a country's views and all that kind of stuff, man. But when it comes to something as serious as this, man, you can't you can't suppress this stuff. Because trust me, I, I the numbers we're seeing, it's a lot more. It's a lot more. So all those thousands of, of deaths you're seeing, there are a lot more deaths. Hundred percent, of course, there, there, there are a lot, there are a lot more deaths. Because I don't, I hundred percent don't believe that China are giving us the real figures. There's, there's no, there's no way. So you could find that they're like, my gosh, hundreds upon thousands of, of people who've been taken out by this disease. Now the, the the key thing is that how did we get this? What happened? Like my mom and my friend sent me um, this, and I've forgotten what the name of the animal is. I've forgotten what the name of the animal is. The pants again or something? Okay. But they sent me, they, apparently, they said that this thing came from 
this specific kind of animal that um, Chinese people were eating. And it's from this creature, so it was from, from, from this animal, and it was got in through there and everything. And who knows? Who knows what, what this thing is from? I mean, it's, 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 see, see, some people said, said bats. Now, I've heard bats, and there's this other thing that they, they ate, you know. And look, man, <laughs> I was sent a video, and you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to share this video. I'm not even going to share, share this link. And, like, I've actually got to tell my mom that, <laughs> like, mom, please don't send me. If you're going to send me a wild video, tell me it's a wild video because my mom just forwards me stuff. She just forwards me videos because she's sort of newish on the internet. I'm like, you know, like, you can't just forward me a video of a market where there are severed animal limbs, dogs kept in, chi in cages, severed dogs' heads, bits of limbs all over the floor. Blood splattered all over the floor, and you're seeing people walk through blood all over the floor, and just guys getting creatures just getting massacred all over. So it's like, so when I saw this, I was like, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> you know. So you know, <laughs> just like, yeah, look, man, like, look again, bless our moms, you know, they mean well, and look. My mom has been sending me about four or five videos of this virus stuff every single day. She's been sending me, I think, ever since we introduced our mom to WhatsApp. She's just like, and I always tell my, to my mom that, thank you, this, this is it. This is it. That's the one. See, I always say to my mom that, um, you see, you have to understand how online stuff works. The stuff, you, basically, you can't, you can't send videos that are over 30 seconds or over a minute. You, you you don't send those on WhatsApp <laughs> because WhatsApp videos are 30 seconds, one minute, that kind of stuff. My mom sends me like stuff that are three minutes. I say, I say to my mom, like, I don't have three minutes in my day just to sit down and watch a three minute video where you need to fully concentrate. That that's too, too much. Um but um yeah, pangolin. That's the one. Let me even bring this up right now. Oh my, I mean, this 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 thing looks wild, man. Let me let me show you this dude right now. Twelve AC. Um, twelve AC by seven twenty. So this apparently are the stuff that um your boys have been um eating over in Shinwas. I mean this 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 is crazy. So let me let me pull up this this picture right now um so this should be c okay where is this thing all right there we go all right here we go so this is called pangolin shout out to your boy half for so apparently this is what this is again it's just a rumor guys nobody knows nobody knows this is just an a rumor that apparently some chinese people have been eating this stuff I don't know why you can't have regular broccoli, fish, and so forth. Like, I mean, because <laughs> it always says that, like, bro, we're not built to eat everything. We're not built to eat everything. So why, what next? Eat, eat a lamp? <laughs> eat someone's face? <laughs> so, you know, we're not built, we're not bred to build to, to eat everything. Um, so, yeah, apparently this is what, what they've, been, they've been eating. <laughs> so, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty wild. And look, I... I I hear that they um that they um eat um dogs there. Which okay, why am I <laughs> you know no but but you know it's so funny, like um so basically so when I was in in school, um we had like Chinese New Year. And because for me, like I love Chinese food, but I realized that <laughs> there's Chinese food in the West and there's Chinese food in China. So when our Chinese students cooked us Chinese food um, for Chinese New Year, but this was traditional Chinese food, I guess I was like, what the hell is this? And they explained to me that, no, the Chinese food that we get in the West is specifically made for those that are in the West. So it is, so it is fried and so forth. But Chinese food in China, that's some different stuff, man. That is some totally different stuff, man. Um, Oh yeah, you see, yeah. Now, yeah, this is another video that I saw. Yeah, I, I saw this video. Look, stuff is wild. And have you seen the video of 
how they are trying to counteract these 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 um, people that that don't cooperate with whenever they have the virus. So if a guy is coming through in his car and he's not cooperating with the virus, they have guys in masks, massive thing. They they take it down and they hack you. And again, this is another rumor. I've heard heard this other rumor. I don't know what it is. Another rumor I've heard is apparently the Chinese guys. They are planning. Please, guys, this is only a rumor. This is only a rumor, but like we're having a discussion here. We're just hanging out. Like, we're just kicking it. For another rumor that all those who are infected, they plan on just killing them. This is only a rumor. But I had stories about stuff that happened in, in Beijing. And I had stuff about what they did to the poor people and those people that had houses around the Olympic stadiums and so forth, and half those houses just got steamrolled based on to make space for the Olympics. So I don't know what I'm saying, but all I'm saying is that apparently the Chinese people said they're just gonna just go ahead and just murder and just kill all these guys that are infected so they don't infect any other people, man. Um so it's wild. It is wild, man. Um, oh no, no, I see that's what I always said. Like, um, I think that the Euros may be cancelled. Like, if things don't get sorted out in Italy, I think what they could do is there are no, they're, they're no games in, in, in Italy. What they could do is there are no games in Italy. But if things worsen and there are more cases, they'll have to just say, like, cancel, cancel the Euros. Either cancel the Euros or they've got to say, can once. Can one city that is least affected host it? You know, can one city that is least affected host it? Because obviously now we've now seen about how all the serial games are not going to be played behind closed closed doors this is month, which which is crazy, which is absolutely crazy, man. Um, so and 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 no, no, and that would be crushing, man. That would be, I mean, if if the Euros is cancelled, that would be soul crushing. You know, that would be seriously soul crushing. But look, man. <laughs> Um, we have to just wait and see. We have to just, just wait and see um, how this this thing progresses because it just seems as if there are more and more cases, you know. <laughs>